Hey, good evening. Good evening, good evening, guys. <laughs> How you doing tonight? Everything good evening, okay? Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to one more session. Welcome, Betsaida. We have Maria Mercedes. Hello, Brenda. Welcome. Margarita, welcome. Who else we have? Herman is connected right now. Diana, welcome. Claudia Carolina. Fatima is connecting right now. Andrea de Los Angeles. Good to see you one more time, one more session. You ready to go on? I'm sorry, teacher. Are you ready to continue? Yes, of course. Of course. Thank That's you. good. That's nice. Thank you. Okay. We went with present perfect. Now let's go ahead with this I exercise first, which is a model to another one. In the one we have it like this. We have this question. Have you ever, have you ever worn a costume? Like this one, right? You know that there are many theme parties in the ones that you celebrate different things. And they tell you that the guests or the invited people is necessary that they work with a, a specific theme or a class of clothes. So if you ask, have you ever worn a costume? Yes, I have. Really? Where were you? Oh, I was in a wedding. I was in a birthday party. What else can it be? Any other event? A Hollywood party. Uh, oh. Perdón. Um, um, I know. Which one? Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Have you ever gone to a Halloween party? I think everybody in one time, right, has gone. No, I have never. Been? You haven't ever no. seen? No? Like no? You have seen the people there wearing different costumes? Yes, my friends. Yeah, they do, right? They are very funny sometimes. In other occasions, they are kind of scary. Really, really scary. Okay, let's continue. That would be like the, the example that we have. But we can formulate more questions in order to speak. Have you ever, have you ever sung in public? Yes, I have. Look at that here. The answer is affirmative and it's short. You have done the activity, but you want to give more information. When you did the activity, then you say it in the simple past. I did it once in high school. I was really nervous. What about you? Have you ever sung in public? Let's say that. Have you ever sung in public? Yes, I have, teacher. Yes? When? When did you sing? When I did it one thing in high school, I pronounced Una Segunda Bandera, no sé cómo se Ah, yes, it's a proper name. Remember, it's a proper name. So it's Oración a la Bandera. Es un nombre propio. Mm -hmm. So you don't translate. Okay. Ah, okay. So you sang? Cantó. Did you sing? No, I... Speak. How oh, you spoke then? You spoke, you spoke uh -huh. at I that spoke. time. Okay, I spoke at that time. Did you get nervous? Yes. Yes, yeah. right. That's normal. <laughs> you were very nervous like this. Yes. <laughs> but you didn't forget. You didn't forget, right? You remember the complete oración a la bandera. You remembered completely. Yes. No la olvidó de los nervios. You didn't forget. Mm, no. No. <laughs> That is good. <laughs> Great. Okay, now let's formulate another question. Margarita, you're going to ask Maria Mercedes to begin like this. Have you ever, and you can take one of the ideas from the pictures. Okay. Have you ever played, played a game? A game, all right, that's good. Maria? Maria Mercedes, are you there? The microphone? The microphone is not activated, Maria. Mm. 
You need to activate the microphone. Yeah, she has problems activating. Okay, Fatima. Yes. yes. Have you ever played a game? No, I have. Uh... No, I haven't. No, I haven't. A uh, game, game? No. Played? No, I haven't played. No, I haven't played. A game. Never. Okay. okay. You can say also like that. No, I have never played a game. No, I haven't. A no, I, I have never played. No, I no, I have never played a game. A game. That is correct. Very good job. Nice. Good one, Wilfredo. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello. How are you? Everything good? Uh, yes, teacher. Very good. Very good. Nice. Okay, Wilfredo. Now, from the pictures that you see, select one and formulate the question to William. William, welcome. Welcome to me. <laughs> welcome. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, William. Hi. Uh, have you ever uh, um, which one do you take maybe fly a helicopter uh, fly. Uh -huh. how do you ever flow flung mm -hmm. pass by is called flung how you ever flown a plane? A plane, very good, yes. Uh, like a pilot or like a customer? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> um, how say? However. Ah, <laughs> I guess. Okay, however, yeah, that's true, uh -huh. however. Because uh, I have did one one time. One time? I have done it one time as a customer yeah. Yeah, or as like a pilot. A, All like right. A, yeah. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Good one. Wendy, you formulate another one to Brenda. Okay, teacher. Have you ever drive a Ferrari car? Driven. Dr driven. Okay. Uh -huh. have, have you, you ever, ever driven a Ferrari car? Right. No, I haven't. Okay. To the car. No, I haven't driven a Ferrari car. No, I haven't a Ferrari. I haven't. Car. No, I haven't driven. No, I haven't driven. A Ferrari car. That's correct. Very good job. Nice. Great. Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Teacher, excuse me. Hello. Yes. Maria de Padilla goes in the uh, WhatsApp group. Okay. Good. Thank you for telling me. I think she has like a yes with the Audi, I think. Okay, thank you for informing Maria. Let's check. Okay. So let's go ahead. Jennifer. Formulate the questions to Betsaida. Choose one. I have you ever have you ever have you ever sung in public sang uh-huh that's good have you ever sung in public 
No, I haven't. Ah, okay. Very good. Nice. Okay. We got this exercise here. Now, let's formulate others. And here I have a game. This is similar than that one. But in this one, you have hidden questions. It's always to speaking. Have you ever? But we are going to connect with the question that you have behind the color. You are going to know the complement when you pick up a color. For example, let's see, um, Estela. Are you here, Stella? Yes. Hi, Estela. Can you please choose a color? Select a color, the one that you prefer. Mm. Blue. Blue. Okay. Let's see what blue has. All right. We got this one. That means you are going to formulate a question with have you ever? And you need to complete with the past participle of the verb and the complement. You're going to formulate the question. You ask Marvin, Marvin, are you here? Marvin? It's a, it's a crash. A crash is a car crash is like when they crash, like heat. Oh. Un choque. Thank you. Choque de carro. You're welcome. Okay, okay then Freddy. Freddy, are you here, Freddy? Freddy? No, Diana? <clears throat> Andrea de Los Angeles? Yes. Yes. All right. Estela, formulate the question to Andrea. Okay. Um, have you ever? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Have you ever? Have uh, you ever? Have you ever uh, had a car had crash? The, that's good. Repeat it. Had a car crash. <laughs> Have the a car crash. A car crash. Good. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a car crash, Andrea? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I don't have a car. All right, that's good. We don't have a car, we can not have a, a car crash. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, girls. Selena? Selena Yamilet? Yes, please. Yes. Hi, Selena. Por you are... me funciona el micrófono. <laughs> oh. Pensé que no me iba a funcionar otra vez. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the connection, right, is also yes. bad. All right, good. Okay, Selena, you ask the question yeah, to Margarita. You are going to select the color first. Pick up a mm -hmm. color. Purple. Purple. All right, we got purple. Formulate the question. Mm -hmm. Begin always with have you ever, right? And transform this verb in the past participle. Mm. You have you ever? You have. Have you ever? What is the past participle of lose? Lost. Mm -hmm. Lost. That's right. Oh. Thank you. Last. 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 Something. Uh -huh. Have you ever lost something? Yes. Go ahead, Margarita. Mm -hmm. The microphone, please. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, I have. I lost a lot of uh -huh. things in my life. Okay. Very good. That's nice. Thank you, Margarita. That's good. Wilfredo, now you formulate another one to Wendy. Pick up a color. Uh, light green. Light green, excellent. Uh, 
Wendy, uh, have you ever flown? Flown. Flown in a helicopter? In a helicopter. All right. Interesting question. Me, coach. Yes, to you. Okay. I don't. Ha I have not. Okay, I have not, or I have never. I never have fly play I float. I have never flown. I have never flown in a helicopter. In a helicopter. Very good job. That's nice. Good one. Okay, Brenda. Now you formulate the question to William. Okay. Pick up a color. Pink. Pink. All right. Okay. See a famous person. Had you ever see? Have you ever? See, had you ever seen? Sing, a right? Famous, sing. We got past participle. Sing. Had you ever seen a famous person? A famous person. A famous person. All right. I think one once time I saw to Gordo of Soya City. I got I saw to who did you see? El Gordo de Soya City. Ah, okay. I saw El Gordo de Soya City. Okay, that is good. Thank you. Good. Germán, are you here, Germán? No? All right. Fatima, you formulate the questions to Marvin. Are you here? No? Okay. Hola. Yes. Hello. Um, a con color. Yeah, choose a color, please. Yellow. Color yellow. All right. Let's see what happens with color yellow. Find something. In some occasions, we find uh, material things or other things, but also money, right? Okay. Um, you formulate the questions yeah. to, let me see, to Pablo. Pablo, are you present? <clears throat> Pablo? No? Eric? Wendy Adamaris, Sandy Roxana. Yes, okay, Wendy. Yes, all right. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, go ahead, Fatima. Have you ever found 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 time? Can you repeat found, it, please? Have you ever found found time? Something. Something. Yes. That's good. Yes. Thank you. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. All right. That's good. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. You, Wendy. You say you're going to ask Maria. Maria, mm. do you have problems yet? ¿Aún tiene problemas? With the audio? Oh, yes. no, no. Okay. No. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, formulate the question to Maria, Wendy. Color black. Color black, okay. Okay, study another foreign language. How you formulate Maria. the question? Okay. Maria, have you ever studied another foreign language? Excellent. So I studied. Yes. I studied mm -hmm. English. English, yesterday. right? English. Yesterday. English yesterday. Yesterday. All right. Thank you. That's good. Okay. Margarita, now you're going to ask Gwendy Beatriz. Uh, the pink color. The pink, wait, we got the pink. This one is like Lila. Yeah. 
Okay, Laila. Laila, all right. It looks very, very similar than the pink. Tell a secret. <laughs> okay, have you ever told? Correct. A secret? Very good. Have you ever told a secret? Yes, I have sometimes told a secret. Uh-huh, yeah. Sometimes I told? Sometimes I told a secret. A secret. That's good. Do you remember when was this? Last year, last week, five years ago? Um, for example, two hours ago. Oops. <laughs> two hours ago. Very good. Thank you. That's all right. Good. Now, yeah. let's go ahead. Thank you. Wilfredo, you ask Brenda. Brenda, you're here, right? Brenda, Brenda. No? Yes, Jenny. teacher. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. All right, Wilfredo. Pick up the color. Um, brown. Color brown. Okay. Win a prize. Uh, um, have you ever won a prize? Excellent. Past participle won. Have you ever won a prize? Teacher, I had a question. Yes. What is the meaning of win a prize? Win a prize it means ganar un premio. Maybe oh, in a okay. competition, maybe at school. Yes, I have. Yes, I haven't won a prize. Yes, I have won a prize. Do you remember? Yes, I have won. Yes, I have. I have won a prize. A prize. Very good. Do you remember when you won that prize? Maybe last year. Yes. Maybe two years ago. Yes. Um. In the school. In the school, okay. So you were in high school? Yes. Yes, you were in that. Okay, very good job. Nice. Thank you. William. Are you here, William? No. Marvin? Daniela? Beatriz? Yes. Yes. Daniela, you're going to ask. Freddy, are you here? Yes, yes. Yes, thank you. Okay. Daniela, then you formulate the question to Freddy. Pick up the color, please. Gray. The color gray. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead. Be on TV. Freddy, have you ever been on TV? Excellent. What is the yes, participle? No, I? I haven't, right? No, yes, I have. Oh, yes, I have. Very good. Do you remember yes. when you were on TV? Yes, I was. Really? Yes. <laughs> it was an interview? Yes. Hey, that's good. Which channel did you appear? In channel two, four, six. Which channel? In what channel? Which channel? Hello, Freddy? Problems with connections. All right. Just remember that here the verb be needs to be being, right? Have you ever been on TV that we have? In the present perfect. All right, let's continue with the next one. Estela? Yes. Hey, Estela. Can you formulate the question to Daisy, please? Pick yes. up the color. Okay, and red. Red. Yes. Okay, red color. Speaking English on the phone. <laughs> I have to ever. Question. Have you ever? I have to ever. Um, I think this is spoke. Spoken. Oh. Spoken is the past. Uh -huh. Past participle? Spoken. Spoken. Spoken in English on the phone. 
That's good. Have you ever spoken in English on the phone? Daisy? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. That's correct. Very good. Okay. Now, Daisy, you formulate the question to Eved. Eved, are you here? No? Sandy? Sandy Roxana? <clears throat> Either Eric, Wendy Alamaris. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, girl. Green. Green color. Okay. Have a stitches. Have you heard of stitches? A stitches. Stitches. stitches is this look like when you have a, when you cut a part of your or your hand or any part of your body when you go to the doctor then it's necessary that they used a needle and something thread right to do this in your body so all of these ones are like suturas this part of this So all of these ones will be stitches, suturas. Yes, formulate the question. Have you ever had stitches? All right, good, thank you. Have you ever had stitches? Who got the answer? Otra vez. Uh -huh. Please. Uh, have you ever had stitches? Thank you. Okay, Andrea, are you present, Andrea? Andrea de Los Angeles? Yes. I'm yes. Can you please answer? I'm sorry, have teacher. You, have you ever had stitches? What's, I don't remember the meaning of stitches. Suturas. Suturas, um, como cuando le cosen a uno, right? It's yeah. a part of your body. Suturas. I I don't remember, honestly. Yeah, you don't remember? <laughs> Normally when we I are kids, remember. right? <laughs> yes, I don't remember. You don't remember? But I think that I haven't. You haven't, okay. Don't remember <laughs> and also you have seen your body, right? <laughs> you see no, there, no, like, no. the proof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Thank you so much. Okay, then let's see. You're going to formulate it. Maria, you formulate the question then to Gwendy Adamaris. You got the color orange. It's unusual food. The microphone, Maria, please. Excuse thank you. Please hear me. Go ahead. Thank you. Have you, Damaris, have you ever? It was Have you eat, ever eaten? Eaten. Eaten. Have uh -huh. you ever eaten unusual food? Unusual food? All right. Thank you. Yes, unusual. Inusual. No, que no es común. Um, For example, fraud. That's not usual. Uh, it's unusual, it's not common. Or I octopus, pulpo, octopus. Mm -hmm. no, it's unusual. I haven't. <laughs> patacones. No, patacones, yes, the Cuban <laughs> food. Like Maria has tried patacones. Are they delicious, Maria? Did you like them? Yes, yeah, yes. Yes. Good. Okay, nice. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, guys. Very good job. Lucy. We have here with this game different type of questions then now let's go ahead on our next part and the platform it appeared this exercise how did you do it you needed to complete with the past participle of the verb how did you complete it had you ever sung aha uh -huh. 
So this one is option three, right? Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Have. And it was by here. Remember here, this one needs to be past participle. So the verb needs to be in different manner. This verb is a form of regular or irregular? Irregular. irregular. It's irregular, right? It doesn't contain the ED, correct? Let's move to the next portion of the topic. Now we'll see the parts. It says this, this session, the use of for and since will be explained thorough and audio. Know the expressions. So we continue with present perfect, but now we are going to include these time words for and since. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Everything right? Yes, yes. it's okay. It's okay. okay. Great, thank you. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning. Since last week. Since yesterday. Since I was a child. Since Wednesday. Since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. All right, so let's verify here the use of for and since. When you used that time word for, this one is referring to the quantity of time that you have done certain activity. And let's verify here. For example, in the present perfect, it says, I have lived in Seattle since 1997. Since marks the beginning of the activity. And I still live there now. So in the present, the person continues living in this place. Look at that here. You have the year 1997 until the present, that is 2023. I moved to Seattle in 1997. So it began or it started to live here in this specific period of time. To the present, that is 2023 continues because it still lives in Seattle. Another example will be like this. I started to teach in 2012. This is the beginning of the action. And to the present, I still teach. Like in my case, I started to teach in 2012. In the present, I teach too. So that means all of this period of time, I have done the activity. So if they ask me a question, how long have you taught English? What is the duration of the activity? I have taught English since 2012. If you use since, then it's because you are expressing with the beginning of the time. And I began 
to teach English in 2012. That's the beginning. But I don't mention what is the end because I still continue teaching. In the present, I teach too. Another form, it will be like this. <clears throat> I have taught English for 11 years. Now, you're not using things, but you're using for. Why for? Because you are expressing the quantity of the time. In this case, the quantity of the years. With amount of time or with the quantity of time. So in the two forms, I'm expressing exactly the same. Is the same message that I have. Questions? Do you have questions so far? No questions? Okay, now this is just introductory. Let's see here more examples. Four plus a period of time, as I was mentioning here, is quantity of time. For six years, we know six years is quantity of years. For a week, for one week. For a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. What is the quantity of time? In the example. I have worked here for five years. What is expressing? What is the phrase is expressing the time? The quantity of the time. Five years. Five years, exactly. Observe here that you don't say since five years. You are going to use since when you mark the beginning of the action. But here you're using the quantity of the time. Now, let's see another one. She has lived here for 20 years. What is the quantity of time? 20 years. 20 years, 20 years. exactly. You are using the time word for. Let's see the next one. Le Wilfredo, can you please read the next one? We have. We have told at this school for a long time. Thanks. What is the quantity of time? A long time. A long time. A, a long time. Thank you. That's good. This expression is a general time or is expressing a specific quantity? Mm, specific. It's not specific, right? Exactly. You're not saying, okay, if you're saying a long time, it will be like for maybe 10 years, for 20. 25, depending on what you consider is a long time, right? But it's general, it's not a specific. Very good, nice. Maria, can you continue? Alice. Alice has been married for, married? Three, married for three months. Thank you. What's the amount of time or quantity of time? Three months. Three months, very good job, nice. Let's see the next one, Wendy Adamaris. They have been at the old hotel for a week. For a week, nice. Quantity of time? A week. A week, exactly. We have exact time. A week, that's all right, good. Questions about this? Questions about four? All right, give me examples, please. I need you to give me examples using four. So you need to give quantity of time. Wilfredo, different action you have done over a period of time. I have, I have work, work. Mm -hmm. Uh, here for seven years. Very good. Can you please repeat it? W worked. I have worked. I have worked here for five years. For no, five for, years. Well, um, in my case, for seven years. For seven years. That's a long time. That's a lot of experience, too. Excellent. Right. Very good job. Nice. That's Ida. I 
I have, no, I studied I for, have studied, I, I have, have studied. studied, I have studied for six years. Mm -hmm. the Where? Ah, that's good. I have studied at the university. I have studied at the university uh -huh. for six years. Six years, very good. What is your career, Belsaida? Which career uh, have you studied? in pharmacy. Oh, chemistry and pharmacy. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. It can be like a, a laboratory, right? To have mm. your own laboratory. Similar. <laughs> Similar than that, right? Create your own medicine. Okay. Yes. <laughs> interesting. Great. Thank you so much. Good. Okay. Now let's see. Daisy, are you here, Daisy? <clears throat> yes, me. Okay. Tell us another example, please. Use four. I study English. I have. For, I have I studied. Have, I have studied English for one hour in Sunday. On Sundays. On Sunday. Very good. Thank you, William. Give us another example, please. <clears throat> William? William, can you hear? Margarita? Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hello, girl. Another example, please. I'm sorry, teacher. I was doing something. Can you explain me? Yeah, sure. We are given an example using with a period of time. Okay. I'm sorry. Or with a quantity of time, but you need to use the time word for. Sure. For example, if I say, I have taught English for 11 years. Okay. I have been working for 12 years. For 12 years. All right. Yeah. That's good. I have worked in a hospital. Okay. I have worked for 12 years in a hospital. Very good. A long time. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. That's a lot you. of experience. <laughs> yes, really teacher. good. Nice. Thank you. Great. Okay. And that is the use of four. You are referring to the quantity of time. You are not mentioning when you started. In a specific, you don't mention like uh, the period of time when you started the activity, but you're mentioning all the period of time, the duration of it. Questions? Okay. Any question with the use of four? <clears throat> All right, then let's see the other part. The other one is with the use of sings. Let's see when is that we use it for it to function. Sings plus a specific moment. If you remember, with the use of four, we don't mention the specific moment. We just mention the quantity, the duration of the time. But here you mention a specific one. It says since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. For example, I have worked here since 1990. What is the beginning of the action? 1990. 1990, right? Yes, that's very good. So, since means this day. But it means until the present, so far, it continues with the action. The action has not finished. Not yet. It's possible that in the future or later, it can start with that activity. Now, other ones, it can be like this. She has lived here since 1980. What is the beginning of the time? 1980. 1980, correct. Let's read the next one. Fatima, can you read the next example, please? We have had a this school science since, since 1965. Mm -hmm. 
65, very good. What is the beginning of the activity? 1965. 65, excellent, that's good. Evet, are you pressing now? Evet, Jaciel? No? William? William, can you hear? Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. Can you please read the third third sentence? No, ya no me agarró. Okay. Ali has been wearing since March. March. Second. Second. That's good. Thank you. Now, when is that she began to be married? What's the beginning of the activity? Mary. That is the action that she did. But when did she start to be March married? Second. In March 2nd. March 2nd, that's correct. That means that she got married, right? In March 2nd. And to the present, she's still married. She has not gotten divorced yet. <laughs> not yet, <laughs> but it's possible she can do it, right? <laughs> Let's see the next one. Brenda? Yes, teacher. So, can you read the next one, please? They have been. They have been at the hotel since last Six. Wednesday. Since. Since. Uh -huh. They have been at the hotel since last Wednesday. Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you. That's Tuesday. good. Very good. That's nice. So the moment that they started to be at the hotel, that was last Tuesday. Until the present, they are still at the hotel. So what is the beginning of the action? Teacher. Yes, last Tuesday. Me? Last Tuesday. That is correct. Tell me. Evet. Teacher, I problem in connection. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. There are problems right now. But now you don't have problems anymore. A bit. Can you hear now? Uh oh yes, yes, yes. Yes, now yes. Okay. So we are here with the use of things and also for to refer to the beginning of the activity or duration. So give me more examples, yeah. guys. I need you to give me more examples. Wendy Beatriz, give us an example with scenes, please. Teacher, is correct to say um, I have my baby since 2020. I have had. I have. Right? I because have. you're using the verb have, right? One is the auxiliary of the verb. Right here, the other one is the verb. So have is my auxiliary of present perfect, like he tenido. Ah, okay. It's two different, two different functions of have. One is auxiliary okay. and the other one is the verb. Okay. Can you repeat it, please? Okay, I have had my baby since 2020. Uh -huh. Since 2020. Thank you. Excellent. That's really good. Now what is the beginning of the activity? 2020, right? You began to have your baby there in your life. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Maria, give us another example. <clears throat> the microphone, Maria, please. I feel... I have worked. I have first. worked. I have worked. Excuse me. I have worked. Good. Mm -hmm. In government. Since. Aha, in, uh -huh, in the government. Since. Eight. Eight. Nine. Eight, nine. What do you mean? Maybe 1980? 
Mm. What is the year? Mm, 1983. Ah, okay. Approximately like this. 1983. All right. 1983. Can you please repeat? 1983. That's good. I, I have, have, I have worked uh -huh. here in government. In the government? In the government. In, in the government things things nineteen nineteen eighteen three eighty three that is correct thank you very good I have worked in the government since nineteen eighty three so you began with that activity in 1983 that means in the present you work with the government too right yes do you continue in the government yes, yes right exactly yes. for that reason is that you can use present perfect imagine that you say i worked in the government for uh, 20 years for example you need to use simple past because you finished working okay. with okay. the government but you continue working in that place yes yeah. very good job thank, nice thank one. you Nick. thank you very much jennifer are you here no marvin yes teacher hey. <laughs> give us another example please um you sing he, he, since I was a, I was a child, a child, a child, is a science, science, things, 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 Wednesday, since two o'clock, I have worked, were things, um, ¿Cómo se dice el número? Which number? Ajá. Uh -huh. But which number? Number. Number. Which number? Ajá. Uh -huh. Número. Ajá. Uh -huh. Number. No, o sea, 1990, ¿cómo se pronuncia en oh, inglés? 1990. 1990. 1990. Mm -hmm. Ok, repeat it, please. What is the activity you have done? I have. I have. Uh -huh. What else? I have. I um, have studied. I have worked. I have traveled. Visited. I have worked. Worked. Mm -hmm. All right. I have worked. In... No sé. Where have you worked? Maybe in the city, downtown. In the city. In the city, uh-huh. I have worked in the city since, so you mark the beginning, since 2003, mm. since last year. Since last year. Since last year. All right. So what is the beginning of the action? In... Last year. Mm. Last year is the beginning because you started at that case. Yes, you started at that moment, at that period of time. So if we have here, I have had my baby since 2020. I have worked in the government since 1983. I have worked in the city since last year. Those are some examples, but when you are referring to the beginning of the action, not yes, to the I, end. I want to try. Go ahead, sure. Go ahead, please. Uh, I have go 
Uy, I have. A... I have. Go gone. On early. Gone, right? Means. Gone. Uh, last Monday. I have gone. Got up. Oh, got up. I thought you say gone. Sorry. Gotten up. Gotten up. Yes, that would be the past participle of get up. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Get up, past participle, gotten up. Repeat it, please. I have. I have gotten up early mm -hmm. since last Monday. Since last Monday. Very good. That means in the present, you continue getting up late, right? Getting up early. So you have not stopped with the yeah, activity yeah. <laughs> yet. <laughs> very good job. Thank you very much. That's right. Good. Who gives me another example? Let's say that. Give us another one, please. You sings. They have played. Played? They have played. They have played in their soccer. No. Soccer. They have played soccer. Uh -huh. Soccer. Signs. Sings. Sings. Last Saturday. Sings last Saturday. Can you? Yes. Can you repeat it, please? They have played soccer mm -hmm. since last Saturday. Very good job. Now, what is the beginning of the activity? When did they begin to play soccer? Last Saturday. Last Saturday. <laughs> exactly. Very good job. Good. Okay. Look, we have here two words that they sound very similar. This one is sings. Let me mark it. Sings is the time work, but science is the subject. You remember the differences? Sings, that's the right. It's a time word, but science is the subject. Ciencia, but they sound very similar in English. Sings, science. Questions? Questions with for and since? Okay. We are going to pass the attendance list. Please let me know that you are present. Let's begin with Andrea. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Betsaida Jasmine. <clears throat> Present teacher. Thank you, Betsaida. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Claudia Carolina. This call of guard. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thanks a lot. David Moises. David Moises. Why are you gay? <laughs> Daisy Estefania. That's Present. my name. Daisy Present. Estefania. Thank Present. you, Daisy. Thank you. Oh, Diana Javilet. I can play with my cousin. My cousin Diana is Javilet. Present. And Thank you so much. Eve Jaciel. Eve Jaciel. He had problem with connection. Yes, Eric Ronaldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric. Estela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Fatima Larisa. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Freddy Ernesto. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Germán Ulises. <clears throat> Germán. Present. Thank you, Herman. Jennifer Sarai. Present teacher. Thank you. Julia Margarita. Bye. Teacher. Hello, present Lopez, teacher. Uh, thank you, Juliet. Present. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maria Mercedes. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Marvin said is present. All right. Pablo Alejandro. Here, Miss. Thank you. Raquel Esther. Raquel Esther. 
Roberto Carlos. Thank you. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Adamaris. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Wendy Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Alberto. Here, Miss. Thanks a lot. William Alexander. Oh, William this Alexander. Is, this is. Thank you. <laughs> Selena Yamilet. <laughs> Present. Thank you, Selena. And Zulma Natividad. I'm present. Thank you so much, guys. Let me see here. Yes, thank you, guys, for the ones that present. All right, so we are here. Not a question? Teacher, me yes, but I know that you are connected, <laughs> but yeah, you yeah. have problems. <laughs> Sorry. You have problems with connection, I know, but yes, I pass it. You are in the list. Thank you. All right, guys, then I'm going to send you more videos and more exercises. Have a beautiful night. We continue tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a great night. Have a good night, guys. Good night. 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 Good night.